Well, good morning, everyone. I am back at it again with the coffee with Carpio. My good friend, Megan Acock, who is also a real estate agent. Real quick, I didn't know if you knew this, but I do ask my guests which coffee shop they'd like to do the coffee with Carpio at. And today she selected Bold Bean Coffee. So why do you like Bold Bean Coffee? I love Bull Bean because of the people. The owners are phenomenal, great people. Um, they partner with local companies. All their pastries come from community loaves. They also partner with uh, Hippo Popsicle. So anytime you're in the store, you should see those also made right here in Jack's. So I just love it. They support the community and uh, give back. Oh, I love that. We have that in common that we really like, like the support local kind of thing and staying within the community. This was why I like to do these videos at local coffee shops. Apart from real estate and doing some like renovations and Airbnb, what is like your most recent thing that you're dabbling with? So I'm the founder of Homey Hardware and we specialize in customizable appliance handles. Our adjustable bracket design will fit for stoves, ovens, dishwashers, refrigerators, and ranges. And we took all major brands into consideration. So. We um, loved the idea of bringing affordability and also bringing a more lux designer style to just an economical appliance mm. um, package. Yeah, and honestly, I've gotten a ton of good feedback on panel readies and more higher ends. We manufacture here in Jacksonville, and uh, yeah, we are a big believer in keeping everything in the USA and also local. How did you get started with that? What, did, what motivated you or inspired you? Yeah, so it started with our most recent renovation, which was our, um, our primary residence. And it started with wanting more high-end appliances, but I couldn't afford it. And there wasn't an option for interchangeable handles for appliances. So there's nothing on the market. And I sat down, drew something out, and then the good partners that I work with, they helped me bring it to life. Taking it back to coffee, what is one of your favorite items from the Bold Bean Coffee menu? So this is gonna sound really silly, but their instant coffee is amazing. Um, I never what? thought I would like instant coffee, but even the boxes they come in are super detailed and, uh, and artsy. And I think they're actually designed here in Jacksonville. They're huge on supporting artists too. That's another great thing about yeah. Bold Bean. Interesting. I'm gonna have to try that instant coffee. <laughs> I'm sure Apparently. they don't want to be known for their instant coffee, right. but it really is that good. We'll give it a try. <laughs> I'm open to things. What are you looking at? What has been one of your biggest challenges? I will. I will say manufacturing in the U.S. Uh, is, it comes with its own challenges. We have turned into a consumer nation. And when you get into the manufacturing aspect, and especially on larger scale, you really have to find, find the right partnerships that fits your scale business, and then people who are willing to grow with you. But many different aspects, especially in the manufacturing of um, hardware, because the finishing metal, you wouldn't believe, but it's actually pretty complex, and uh, it's totally different. I don't know how much goes into when you order something online and you and you get those items you know i never thought the complexity of that one thing i'll say that i'm very proud of is that we do not share no expense on our material our l series was named after my sister-in-law who came up with the design her name's Aww, lauren that's cute yeah she um she said mixed metals you know she said brass and stainless are fantastic combinations it looks nice yeah mm -hmm. so i don't think but it actually does complement visually it looks good yeah, yeah. Our um, our brass is 100% brass, so it won't it'll tarnish, but it'll never peel or delaminate because a lot of metals uh, have coating, so they're a cheaper metal, and then they delaminate or they laminate or they call it electroplating, but they um, put a layer of a different finish on it. Does it, does it turn out like patina, kinda? It does. Or Brass has a natural tarnish. Um, mm -hmm. We do coat it, we lacquer coat it, but it will the the lacquer will. Um, you know, where, yep. especially in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, our most interesting and recent shoot and uh, product line is called the E Series. And I named that after a dear friend who was also a cheerleader in high school. Her name is Ebony, and uh, her home was actually featured on HGTV Hometown. 
That was fun. Oh, you've told me about this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I had a lot of fun. So, yeah. um, and her kitchen was perfect. It was the perfect scenario. It was standard Frigidaire appliance package. And uh, it was, it was, it was great. Uh, isn't their show still airing on the HGTV? It what is. is it called again? Home. It's called um, Home Sweet Home. Home Sweet Home. I've yeah. seen some of their episodes and they have cute designs. So that is the ebony she's speaking of <laughs> yeah so go watch the episodes yeah long day what is like your tv dinner can't say uh like chinese oh. drive through can yeah, I you can. That? What is it? Tell it like it okay. is. At Mr. Dragon on uh, San Juan, like all the way. What? So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've not been, so I have to try yeah. it out. Okay. If you were a coffee, which one would you be? Ooh, um, probably a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> <laughs> I I would agree with you. I like all the different types of coffee, but pumpkin spice. Although I can't have a lot of it. I feel like I, it gets overdone in fall. You know what I mean? Like everything is pumpkin. That's, that's you go to Trader Joe's, everything is pumpkin, and then you're pumpkined out. Yeah, but some sure. people like it. What did you order today? I I let the barista choose. Oh, I like to do that. Yeah. That's a good. You go to a restaurant, and the first thing I do, I don't know if you do the same, is just like, what is popular here? And that's what I did with my... A pastry. <laughs> From Community Loom. Oh, yeah! Look, look, look. Just like this. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'll get it in a second. <laughs> what did she recommend? Do you remember? She recommended just a simple latte with whole milk and vanilla and honey. And it's delicious. Yeah, it sounded really good. I think anything with honey, vanilla, is kind of up my alley. Cinnamon. Yeah, that's yeah. all me. I here today, you guys are going to be surprised, I went for the hot chocolate. I had coffee already and I get jitters, so I wanted some nice hot chocolate. It was cute. They, they actually did the little barista art on it and uh, it's gone now because I slurped it, but yeah. And then I asked her for all the yummy pastries and this one is the cinnamon... <laughs> this one is the cinnamon croissant, she said? Yeah. Yeah. So it looks nice and toasty on the edges and... Um, I'm just going to get in there. Oh. Can't go wrong with cinnamon. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, because we are at towards the end of the year, what is one lesson that you took away from 2023? I would probably say, like, trust the process, trust the plan. Like, if you put something in action, um, just know as long as you're making leaps towards that plan every day. Um, just trust, stay patient, it will happen, um, especially when you have uh, so many variables within, you know, one aspect of what you're trying to do. So, yeah, just um, trust it. Trust, trust the, the process. Yeah. One goal for 2024. Ooh, um, we are going to be at the Kitchen and Bath show in Vegas. Oh, yeah. So it's quite large. There's going to be, I think, 100,000 plus people there. Yeah. So I would say probably to strike some sort of deal there and uh, just help that exponentially grow our 24, uh, 2024 um, sales and overall just name. presence. See yeah, our journey. Get your name out there. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, February 27th through 29th. Okay. So if you're in Vegas, stop by and go check for out. What is your message to the world? You can dream it. It's possible. Oh, oh I love that. That's so sweet. <laughs> it's like deep within her. You can yeah. tell she's like tearing up over here. Oh, I think that's amazing. There's so many people that are scared to take leaps. And it's amazing how you maybe you can agree, like how you feel after you've pushed through some hard barriers and you want for others to feel that too, like to believe in themselves and and try something new because sky, sky and beyond is the limit, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And you are your really your own worst enemy. So yeah. stop. Yeah. Criticizing yourself and just go do it. Yeah. Just go do it. Yeah. <laughs> How can people find you? Um, right now I have a Etsy store. Oh. So it's okay. actually www.homiehardware.etsy.com. Mm -hmm. 
um, and then also I'm on socials. So if you are interested and in maybe checking out her line, you can click on the link below and also reach out. And um, if you're in the Jacksonville area, we'd love to meet up with you at Bold Bean Coffee and get to know you. Thank you for doing this with me and entertaining my coffee with Carpio. And I wish you all the positive energies and success in 2024 and beyond. Excited to see where your uh, dream takes you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much, Leslie. Yeah. It's always so good to see these with you. You do such a great job. Thank you. Yeah. Aww. If you can treat someone to dinner in exchange for value, who would it be? That is so tough. People most recently that sh shout to mind, if you are on social media content, you've seen them just because they're everywhere. Alex and Layla Hermosi, um, they're phenomenal. I've gotten both of his books. And then, and then your fun one. Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> he's so cute. You know, but he's so like authentic and real. He just is. Like, I do like, I do sense that from him. I mean, I don't know him like that, but you can read energies and vibes. Yeah. Did you read his green light? Is it great? Yeah, it is. Is yeah. it good? No, I haven't read it. Oh, okay, okay. I should read it. Yeah. yeah. Well, he also has a book that we must read too. Cham Chamberlain's is also a fantastic place. If you have not been there, we recently discovered that. And if you want books, go to Chamberlain's. They I have everything. I've been meaning to go there and it's in downtown. So yep. maybe I'll have to take a trip out there. And also Lakeshore. That's actually, I think, bigger. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Well, we got places to go, people to see, and books to read. <laughs> Still gotta go to your house <laughs> to yeah, do some do. visuals. Okay, we do. Is that good?